Within the snow-capped Himalayan mountain range, among the highest mountains on earth, rests the kingdom of Bhutan. A mystical, peaceful sanctuary steeped in a long Buddhist tradition that influences all earthly activities. Jabdung Ngawang Namgyal, a lama of the Drukpa sect, is revered as the founder of Bhutan. As temporal and spiritual leader, he unified the country in the 17th century, in part by constructing a series of fortresses called Tsongs. These Dongs have remained dominant features of both the landscape and life. They are impressive reminders of the success of Bhutan's dual system of governance, where the monastic body and secular leadership respect each other. The death of the Zhabdung was followed by 200 years of civil war between rival factions, which lasted until the end of the 19th century. Then, in the heart of Bhutan, in Tongsa, another major figure rose to unify the country once again. On December 17, 1907, Ugen Wongchuk, the Tongsa Penlop, was elected king by both the secular leadership and high lamas. With his crowning, Bhutan had formally transitioned from a theocracy to a hereditary monarchy. His Majesty Ugen Wangchuk was a visionary leader and a statesman. He had two major accomplishments during his reign. First, he was able to unify the country internally. And second, he was able to gain external recognition for Bhutan as a sovereign kingdom. His Majesty Ugen Wangchuk passed away in 1926. He was then succeeded by his son, his Majesty Jigme Wangchuk. He undertook major tax reforms because he found out that the people of Bhutan were heavily burdened with lots of in-kind taxation paid to the central government. Under the reign of His Majesty Jigme Wangchuk, which ended in 1952, the people of Bhutan enjoyed peace and stability when the second king passed away in 1952, the kingdom was still isolated. It was the third king, His Majesty Jigme Doji Wongchuk, who introduced Bhutan to the world. While keeping sacred Bhutan's traditions and culture, he helped pave the way for progress. He believed strongly in education for the people and established a formal public education system for the country. To this day, I have thoughts and dreams of serving His Majesty like he was present now. His Majesty worked towards his vision to serve the people and country equally and without partiality, and to maintain not only a sovereign nation, but a nation of peace and happiness. Upon the sudden and unexpected demise of His Majesty Jigme Dolce Wangchuk, the Crown Prince Jigme Singye Wangchuk, who was only 16 years of age, had to take over the reins of the kingdom. Truly a people's king, His Majesty is well known for his development philosophy, gross national happiness. The four pillars of GNH are preservation and promotion of culture, environmental conservation, good governance, and economic development. In the last years of his reign, His Majesty commanded the drafting of Bhutan's first constitution, which lays the ground for the introduction of parliamentary democracy in 2007 and 8. <laughs> I would also like our people to know that the Chichi Penlop will be enthroned as the fifth Drugyalpo in 2008. In an unprecedented and historic move, His Majesty the Fourth King voluntarily abdicated the throne in December 2006 and transferred his responsibilities to his son, His Majesty Jigme Gese Namgyal 
Within a few months after taking over as the fifth hereditary monarch, he has reached out to the poor, the needy and the disabled people in remote communities. As for Bhutan, I think that we are very blessed. We managed, our ancestors managed to preserve and practice what they have practiced and pass on to the younger generations till now. So our fifth king is, I am sure, he is the best ruler and we think the king of destiny. His Majesty has empowered the youth with his words, with his policies, with his actions. He's always encouraged them to step up, to realize that the future lies in our hands and that we can make a difference. The Bhutanese people's affection for their kings can be witnessed in every shop, home and office. This devotion is a reflection of their gratitude and respect for the monarchy. On this historic occasion, commemorating 100 years of the Wangchuk dynasty, May every one of the five hereditary kings be celebrated. For each has, in his own way, guided the people of Bhutan in carrying the honor and love they hold for their country from generation to generation. Yeah.